On October 2, 2024, General Dynamics Land Systems GDLS, a division of General Dynamics, delivered two TRX vehicle prototypes to the U.S. Army. These deliveries are part of the ongoing competition for the Robotic Combat Vehicle, RCV, program, which aims to revolutionize the way ground forces operate. The on-schedule delivery marks the start of rigorous platform mobility testing and direct interactions between soldiers and the TRX vehicles. The Army will assess the vehicle's performance in real-world scenarios to evaluate their potential as key assets in future battlefield operations. General Dynamics Land Systems was one of four companies selected in 2023 to participate in the RCV program. The TRX platform they developed is a 10-ton robotic vehicle, designed to be transportable and highly flexible in terms of modularity and interoperability. The TRX stands out with its 1-to-1 payload-to-chassis ratio, allowing it to accommodate a wide range of mission-specific modules and payloads. This makes the vehicle adaptable to various operational requirements, enhancing its utility across multiple military functions. The TRX vehicle features a modular architecture that positions it to meet both the current and future needs of the Army. It is equipped with a hybrid electric engine, aligning with the U.S. Army strategy to reduce its environmental impact while providing ample exportable power to support mission command operations. This hybrid engine is not only environmentally responsible but also offers the added advantage of enabling extended operational capabilities in the field. Gordon Stein, Vice President and General Manager of U.S. Operations at GDLS, highlighted the TRX's suitability for integration into human-machine formations. The vehicle's multi-role capabilities are designed to address critical battlefield roles, making it a versatile platform capable of performing reconnaissance, surveillance, direct and indirect fire support, long-range loitering munitions deployment, air defense, counter-drone operations, autonomous resupply, obstacle breaching, and electronic warfare. The prototypes delivered will now undergo intensive testing under varied operational conditions. The Army will evaluate the TRX's ability to meet the requirements of modern combat environments, determining if it can become a crucial component of its ground force modernization efforts. The testing phase will be instrumental in deciding whether the TRX platform can enhance battlefield efficiency while reducing risks to soldiers. The TRX platform is built using the U.S. Army's Robotic Technology Kernel, RTK, Warfighter Machine Interface, WMI, enabling both teleoperational and autonomous functionality. Moreover, it shares electronic architecture and control concepts with the Multi-Utility Tactical Transport, MUT, framework, promoting commonality across unmanned ground vehicles. This integration with existing systems enhances logistical efficiency and ease of training. Additionally, the TRX can be outfitted with the Reconfigurable Integrated Weapons Platform, RIWP, developed by Moog, an American defense company. This allows the vehicle to take on remote turret missions, further expanding its tactical versatility. A key strength of the TRX is its ability to adapt to different battlefield missions through its modular design. One of the standout modules is the Short Range Air Defense Shorad, system, which enables the TRX to defend against low-flying threats such as drones and helicopters. This system has already been successfully tested, proving its effectiveness in detecting, tracking, and neutralizing aerial threats. The TRX can also be configured with long-range loitering munitions platforms for precision strikes on distant targets, electronic warfare modules to disrupt enemy communications, and direct or indirect fire systems for combat support. Additionally, the platform can carry equipment for autonomous resupply missions and complex obstacle breaching, further highlighting its adaptability to different combat situations. The TRX's modular architecture and wide range of mission-specific capabilities make it a highly adaptable asset for the U.S. Army. As part of the broader RCV program, the TRX could play a pivotal role in advancing robotic technologies on the battlefield, reducing risks to soldiers while improving overall combat effectiveness. Its versatility, combined with its environmentally friendly design, positions it as a valuable addition to the Army's ground forces, capable of evolving in response to ever-changing mission requirements. As the U.S. Army continues to explore robotic technologies to modernize its operations, the TRX from General Dynamics Land Systems could become a key player in shaping the future of ground combat.